In many areas in test and measurement, it is necessary to create test reports. In this video, I'll show you how to create a test report using Catman and Word. Alternatively to using Word, you can also create a PDF or XPS or HTML document directly in Catman. First, I'll show you a simple example of the interaction between Catman and Word. When using visualizations in analysis mode, you can create objects such as tables and graphs and then transfer these objects to a Word document. At first, I'll only create a post-process graph with one force channel. Click on Office in the Configuration dialog and assign a unique name. Now open your Word document. Certainly, you'll have a pre-configured template with your company logo and a certain formatting structure. Insert a bookmark with the unique name you defined earlier at the location where you want your visualization object to appear. Now save and close your document, which is now your template. Now open the configuration dialog of the report generator and browse for your document template on the hard disk. Specify the location and name of your report. I use placeholders date and time. At the bottom, you can now select which type of report document to create. I choose Word document here. After the report has been created, it should be opened. Confirm with OK. Now click on Create and wait for your report to open. Our first simple report will look like this. The basic procedure for generating reports should, therefore, be understandable. In the next steps, I'll show you further interesting visualization objects for use in reports. First, I'll configure the individual visualization objects in Catman and then insert the bookmarks into my document template. Let's get started. On another panel, I create another post-process graph with the force channel. This time, I zoom into the graph so that more details are visible. Now insert a suitable name for Office. Another panel where I insert a metadata table. The metadata table already contains all the essential parameters of the current test. You only need to adjust the size a little and the configuration is already complete. Enter a suitable name for Office. Done. For better clarity, I'll also create a table for the traceability data on a new panel. The traceability table is able to display important information about individual channels. This is information about the used sample rates, sensors, filters, zero values, and many other information of the added channels. I'll add the most important channels to the table. As you can see, all the measuring parameters of the channels are displayed. The sample rate, the used DAC module with its serial number, zero point, sensor scaling, etc. Now I'll adjust the size a little bit more and insert a suitable name for office. Next, I'll use a statistics table. And here too, I'll simply add the channels by drag and drop. As you probably already expected, the statistics values are displayed. If the number values is too large for you, you can also reduce the display parameters to min, max, and average. Enter your name for office. On the next panel, I'll now insert a data table. If you calibrate sensors or only store very few values in other applications, it makes sense to display exactly these values. I'll now insert a few measured values as examples. Now I'll assign the last name in office. Now I'll adapt my document template and insert the used bookmarks in a suitable place. To make it a bit more clear for you, I first create some texts with the names used in the Office tab using copy and paste. Now I insert the bookmarks first. For graph 1, I had already entered a bookmark. Now the other bookmarks. Probably you cannot see exactly where I insert the bookmarks. Therefore, I now make the bookmarks visible in Word, under the Options, on the tab Advanced, in the section Show Document Contents. Please make sure that you click once with the cursor at the position where you want to insert the object before you actually insert it. Now I can quickly create the bookmarks.
Now I turn off the visualization of the bookmark in the options. Finally, save and close. Now I am preparing the new report. There it is. It already looks quite good. We'll still have to adjust it a little bit, however, not in this report, but in the document template. We can also optimize the proportions of our graph a little bit. Now we go one step further and have a PDF created right away. We just need to select this in the configuration dialog. Now test again. Ready. Finally, I can save the whole analysis project. Professional trainings are available at our HBK Academy for beginners and advanced. Of course, also for Catman. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do not hesitate to contact us. See you next time.